So they've got these cool robot things wandering around the airport here at Incheon. Look at this. Look. Giving you information and tips about the airport and stuff, just wandering around to help people. That's quite cool. Welcome to the future. So I am super excited. Today I'm going to be taking a trip that I've been wanting to do for absolutely years. I'm going to be flying on Qatar Airways Q Suites. It is apparently the best business class product in the world and I'm going to be taking it for 19 hours. Aside from all the exotic airlines, Incheon is home to more designer shops than I think I've ever seen in an airport before. So it's time to head to the gates. Yes. Really super, super excited about this trip. My first flight tonight was operated by this Boeing 777-300ER, originally delivered new to Qatar Airways in September 2017. Oh, cool, so Qatar Airways now give you Darth Vader fancy dress as well. How cool is this? <laughs> I decided to get on board the plane before I was ejected from Korea for crimes against acting. Thank you very much. Perfect. Wow. Can thank I you. Assist you with anything? No, I should be good. Thank you very much. The Q suites are laid out in a one to one configuration and can be joined together to make massive suites in the middle, as I'll show you later in the video. For takeoff, though, I just had the one Q suite, which was pretty neat all the same. So on board, let's kick off now. Um, again, if you are in economy, you have to wear these for the entire duration of the flight. I mean, that's, I was getting uncomfortable wearing that, just getting on the plane. So I can't imagine what it would have been like to have spent a 10 hour flight doing it. But anyway, in my Q suite, how cool is this? This is amazing. And it's actually much bigger than I thought it would be. Just incredible. I mean, I can't wait to show you guys around this seat. It's got like the space shuttle. Look at all these. Look. The controls and the big walls around you and everything. And you're facing backwards as well. Which I always like. It's always nice. Flying backwards, it feels much more kind of posh. <laughs> for want of a better word. But I have my champagne. So, Charles. After take off, the flight attendants told me they had a little surprise for me. So the cabin crew on this flight are absolutely incredible. They basically set up an entire quad, four sections of seats across there for me to sleep in later. So I've got this single Q suite here um, where I'm going to be eating and just chilling. And then when it's time to go to bed, let me show you the chicken a little bit. entire four section of seats. I have a full double bed. This is all mine for the flight. Five Q suites in one flight. <laughs> is that a record? <laughs> the crazy is it? Bless them, they're incredible. So I'm going to be eating my dinner over here and then I'm going to be going and sleeping over in my, I might as well call it my private apartment because that's pretty much what it is. It's just incredible. Um, and I've asked them to just bring it kind of just before we land the 
as late as possible, really. So that's the plan for tonight's flight. It's night as well, a bit of a snack, a bit of a drink, time for bed. Let's do this. I mean, how cool is this? I've got literally four seats to myself here in Qatar Airways Q Suites. Four Q Suites, plus mine over by the window, which I'm just using just to eat in, you know, as you kind of do. Look, double bed here. Turn it around. A couple of seats there for me as well if I want to sit around there as well. You can open this up into one massive kind of apartment to be travelling as a family, which is really nice, but when I'm on my own, who cares? The whole thing to myself, incredible. So how flipping cool is this plane, right? These seats, these Q suites are just absolutely amazeballs. Um, so I've just come into the bathroom to make change. Even in here, look at this, look. That mahogany effect on the walls. Nice little lamps there so I can do my makeup and things, you know, as us YouTubers tend to do. Um, huge bathroom. Um, really, really enjoying this flight so far with Qatar. I mean, they've always amazed me in the past, but on this flight, it's just something else. And the fact that they've put that entire bedroom up for me, it's just incredible. So I'm going to go and get, I'm going to get some changed and then go and head to bed I think and try and get some sleep tonight um, before we arrive into Doha. Time to get changed. You know what? A pair of airline pyjamas actually fit really comfortable. Look at these. I mean they're not going to win any style awards I don't think but um, I'm not exactly a stylish person as you can probably tell so these are pretty comfy for me um, and I'm hoping to get some nice and comfy sleep tonight so let's head back and go across to my bedroom so then it is time for bed in what is quite possibly the most comfortable bed I've ever slept in on a plane it's like huge look spread out across a double bed at 40,000 feet crossing China um, about eight hours left to run until we arrive in Doha so I just can't believe how comfortable this is and it's so private the doors are closed around me and I'm effectively in my own little hotel room it's fantastic um, so I'm gonna try and get some sleep and see how well I do sleep wise I have a feeling I'm not gonna struggle too much tonight um, but <laughs> find out so let's go to sleep and I'll see you in the morning good night I drifted off to sleep but had the weirdest dream about a great shave for a great price with Harry's It's really simple, you just sign up with them, receive your razor, shaving gel and first pack of blades in the post and then get new blades or gel automatically delivered on a schedule to suit you. Harry's founders Jeff and Andy were tired of overpaying for over-designed razors. They realised they weren't alone. Their answer? Start Harry's, raise a bunch of money and buy a razor factory in Germany, as you do. Nowadays they help millions of men shave each day in a premium hassle-free way. I love it because I don't have to do a thing to keep fresh blades and gel in the bathroom. You just get a great shave for a great price. Harry's are offering you this great trial set for just $3.95. They're even chucking in a free shower gel too. Check out this offer today over at harrys.com slash Noel. You too could look as smooth as Noel. Well, good morning. I can't believe quite how well I slept. Um, I've just been woken up by the crew. Um, for breakfast and we've got about an hour until landing now so I've slept for about seven eight hours <laughs> Damn. probably the best night's sleep that I've ever had on board a flight it's just incredible so much room as the sun rose over Iran it was time for breakfast right so I've come back to my day room my living room effectively <laughs> Uh, and dining room to find my breakfast is ready for me. Yay! Very nice omelette for breakfast today. And just watching the sunrise over Iran, which is just incredible. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful morning.
so the cabin crew very kindly just brought me across to the other side of the aircraft. She's like, there's an incredible sunrise and you'll love to see the engine. And um, wow, my inner av peak is showing, I think. Look at this. You can't beat a G90 and it just looks incredible. Wow. And an incredible sunrise as well as we cross Western Iran. We're about to cross into the Gulf and start a descent down into Doha. But I just wish this flight would never end. I've got another one yet as well when we get to Doha, so yay! <laughs> All too soon we were starting our descent across the Gulf into Qatar. Transit security at Doha seemed to be complete chaos this morning, but at least I didn't have to take my liquids out. So Doha, so Doha, Qatar, and my friend the bear. It's been a while since I've been in here, I tell you. Um, very interesting transit experience here. Um, <laughs> I don't know what that security point was all about, but never mind. But there's the bear. I'm going to go and try and check out the lounge a little bit first before we go through to the gate and then the plane will be departing in about an hour's time so just a bit of time just to nip into the lounge and check it out and see what that's like these days. The Al Morgan Lounge is simply stunning and easily ranks as one of my favourite airport lounges in the world. You see, there's a reason why Doha is my favourite airport in the whole world. I mean, isn't this place just incredible? And no matter how long you're here, if you're here for an hour, there's loads to do, you've got time. If you're here for 12 hours, then there's so much other stuff you can do. There's a spa and everything in the hotel. Make sure you check out my previous video on that one of the went. I think it was the one when I went to New Zealand and back in 71 hours. Um, and I stopped at the hotel here, um, the Oryx Hotel, and there's an amazing spa there as well. But this airport is just incredible. Really, really nice airport to travel through. Um, and it is my favorite in the world, I have to say. My next ride back to London was this Airbus A350-900. Delivered in 2019, it was just one year old. Good morning, how are you? Good morning, you are Miss Renewal. Yes. Hi, Kate. Thank okay, you. Thank you. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning. we have some more daylight let's take a little look around the Q suite in some more detail. Storage compartment with water. Power for powering things. Massive TV. Huge. What's this? Ah, beaver juice. Non-bacterial. Oh and the best engine and wing view on any aircraft? I don't know. Let me know down below, but I think it is. The A350 has the camera views. Let's have a look. Best thing about the A350, aside from the amazing Q suite. Let's have a look. Oh. Pretty soon we were once again pushing back and I used the cameras to get a great view of the pushback tool. 
You see, I told you I wasn't half geek. you think though down in the comments fairly soon we were commencing our descent into London on a murky and miserable thirsty lunchtime So they've had both runways running here at um, Heathrow. It's quite nice to see landing on the southerly runway. My ride to London today then cost me £920 for a flight of 7,600 miles, working out at 12 pence per mile. Compare this to my outbound flight with Korean Air that's on the screen now, which cost double that, and um, which do you think represents better value for money? Let me know down below. How are you doing? Yeah. Good to see you again. <laughs> so back in the UK after my little Q Suite adventure with Qatar Airways, which was brilliant. Um, I'm hoping to fly with Emirates and Etihad trying out their first class soon as well. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. You're not going to want to miss that at all. But in the meantime, as always, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you next time. <laughs>